Hi everyone, welcome to Virtual Travel Series of Super. My name is KK, together with my colleague. Hello, my name is Christy. And today we're going to bring you to Finland. So of course you can see the first picture, okay? It's all about this beautiful glass eagle, one of the most iconic sites, the accommodation, that many people who travel to Finland decide to stay. Uh, Christy, let me ask you, when you talk about Finland, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, glass eagle? The cross babies, Ashkido right, and the snowball. Ah, indeed, uh, these are some of the winter activities that you can do in uh, Finland. Of course, uh, that's it. Finland is again a hot spot tourist destination throughout uh, all the, the entire year. But if you're talking about these uh, winter activities, generally the timing will be from November to March. Apart from classy tour accommodation, visit Santa Claus village, uh, snowmobile activities. There's of course many other things that we can do there, okay? And moving on to the first uh, activity, the King Crab Safari. Now speaking about this King Crab Safari, there is no other uh, country or destination in the world that gives you such a true uh, experience. I understand some of you guys might have been to Hokkaido to try their snow crab legs. But of course, when we go for this King Crab Safari experience, it's somewhere further up. Uh, north of uh, Finland into this uh, area of Norway known as Kilkenes where of course you can be on the snowmobile ride you go on to this uh, frozen fjord okay and then uh, they will have uh, these uh, instructors the city officers you know to uh, show you how they actually catch cook and uh, of course uh, breed these uh, uh, Norway, Norwegian king crabs okay and of course after that with this uh, experience you can go to a very comfortable restaurant inside Okay, with a nice, amazing backdrop, both with this uh, warm ambience, and enjoy your crap. Your first dimension or and uh, experience uh, when you're in this uh, King Crab Safari. Of course, uh, apart from uh, this uh, King Crab Safari, the Snowmobile Safari is one of the most uh, enjoyable activities that everyone wants to try. Because I'm sure in our tropical country, we have driven lots of transportations like cars or even uh, motorcycles but snowmobile as the name sounds only can be driven in winter countries of course you guys have uh, this experience over in finland you know to a snowmobile not to worry safety mobile officers will be there to guide you teach you how to uh, manually operate this uh, snowmobile in uh, safety measures as well now of course uh, third we move on to the husky farm experience i'm not sure how many of you are uh, husky lovers, uh, I per se, I love huskies a lot. And of course, uh, when you see them enjoying this uh, farm, in this uh, Finland, be a terrific experience. Of course, uh, everyone will have this chance to be on a husky stay right as they bring you around their farms. Instead, some of you might be a bit afraid of uh, these uh, big husky dogs. Not to worry, there are husky puppies there for you to engage while waiting for your turn to go on the husky stay. You can see on the photos that we attach on our left. Here, all our customers have perfect experience when they meet Husky Farm. Moving on to uh, this uh, uh, reindeer surprise experience. Now, of course, everyone does know that the boss home is Finland. And his favorite mode of transportation, I would say the only mode of transportation he's always known for using is his reindeer uh, sleigh. Of course, going to this reindeer safari, we we'll only get to interact with all these uh, reindeers known to Finland. And also we'll go through a very traditional Lapish experience. With that said, Lapland is a area, the shared territory about Sweden, Norway and Finland in the Arctic area region. So of course we came to a traditional tent, understand how the Lapish people actually live their lives, and of course go through this experience to bless us with wealth, health, prosperity throughout the entire year. Yeah? And of course, uh, moving on uh, to the next interesting site, before I actually explain to you guys, I have a question for you, Christine. Do you think that uh, you can actually see penguins in Africa or in Britain? I think they can be fun as a uh, Arctic only. Well, that's true. Penguins cannot be found in the Arctic, unfortunately, because they only reside all the way down to the South Pole in the Antarctic. But rest assured, okay, we will bring you to this very famous Rona Wildlife Park, okay? Basically, it's not a zoo like no other because they only showcase Arctic animals from snow fox to tinctures uh, to even uh, polar bears. Yes, they are found in the Arctic in the North Pole as well. And of course, uh, 
uh, other interesting uh, Arctic animals, which of course the zoo people will bring you guys around, you know, with the food uh, to, to feed the animals so that they'll be out from their slumber. Okay? So of course, this will be a very unique experience for all our guests uh, when they are traveling to Finland. And of course, moving on to the most green location everyone enjoys, which is Santa Claus Village. Uh, okay? Since I, as I mentioned, Santa Claus uh, home is in Finland. And of course, there is where he and his elves actually reside and work in. Pretty good, yeah? Santa Claus only works like probably like only on Christmas, one day out of Christmas, five days a year. I'm pretty sure most of us actually do wish to have that job. Of course, uh, jokes aside, when you travel with us, when we bring you there, little bit does everybody know, Santa Claus Village is situated right at the crossing of the Arctic Circle. So of course, all of our guests, when you're there, you'll get this uh, Arctic crossing certificate. And of course, when you enjoy your time over there, we recommend you to go to the post office. You can send a Christmas card back to yourself, you know, for a good experience. And of course, enjoy the snow. For some of you who even want to try, there's reindeer over there as well, so you can try if you're there. Of course, moving on to this uh, most iconic accommodation, I would say, which is the Glass E2. Now, I'm pretty sure that many of you have uh, many variations, ideas, you know, how does uh, Glass E2 look like, what type of Glass E2, the most things are considerations, factors that uh, most of us uh, these are travelers traveling with Finland who always have on their mind. Let us show you what uh, our uh, analysis is on this famous glass E2. So as you can see from the photos, okay, these are the two kinds of uh, most uh, prolific, uh, most uh, visited, uh, most paid accommodation of glass E2 in Finland. Okay, on the first photo, I thought that's a very large like kind of glass E2. I would say it's pretty comfortable, okay, you can see everything is uh, very cozy uh, inside with a uh, nice good work interior okay, and of course they do have a very uh, quaint nice little balcony with a glass shape uh, to give you guys experience but what we recommend of course the Arctic Glass Eagle Hotels okay, that is the name of the hotel and you can see for our photos the second floor attached why do we recommend that? firstly it's a more traditional like a uh, igloo shaped uh, kind of hotel and secondly of course it will be panoramic glass that gives you 360 degree views of this winter wonderland you know of course at your own uh, privacy and comfort of course it'll be a very good experience the main reason we actually choose to recommend this glass eagle most of the time because it has to do with beautiful northern lights these glass eagles are situated far away from the city and of course, away from light pollution, which are these two are actually one of the main factors in order for you to witness the northern lights. So speaking about the northern lights, as you can see uh, the image that attached, I give you guys two examples. The very first one is actually a time-lapse footage taken by a GoPro to give you guys a view of how you actually experience these northern lights with the true sight. Now, of course, at the bottom image, you can see there's actually a professional photographer uh, using this uh, DSLR camera with the right settings, give a longer exposure, give us a more beautiful photo of this normal lights we usually do uh, with this uh, uh, output. So, of course, speaking about normal lights, there are actually a few factors to consider. The very first would be it has to be away from the city, be away from light pollution. And secondly, of course, uh, it has to be clear skies, so snowing or cloudy skies, then it's a no-no. But of course, the chances are still there as well. And lastly, okay, the right amount of solar activity must be entering the atmosphere. Okay, to have all these uh, factors in place, I would say pretty much really based on luck. However, there are professional aura hunters uh, in Finland, which uh, you can actually engage uh, to give your guys a higher chance to witness this aura. So I give you guys. Uh, this uh, run through of these various activities you can do from the King Crab Safari, Snowmobile Adventure, Husky Farm Experience, visit the Santa Claus Village, the Arctic Rona Wildlife Park. Um, I feel like it would be a better view if we bring you there virtually with this short video. You see, I ready? Yeah! Let's, let's go! go.
Yes, indeed. Finland is a really amazing place. As the name of Wista, it's a winter wonderland. And uh, of course, uh, all year long, it's a popular tourist destination. But uh, in the month of November to March, these are the kind of activities, the kind of experience that will leave you with a memorable uh, idea for the rest of your life. Of course, uh, we have uh, much more to share, okay, with uh, virtual travel and supers, okay? So do stay tuned for our upcoming episodes for the following weeks. Of course, don't forget, I need like, our Instagram, follow us and share our Facebook and of course our YouTube channel as well. We'll see you next week for more adventures with Super. Bye! Bye! -bye.